Before we get into the video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. So the 16 year old teenager that was tragically stabbed and killed in Northamptonshire Tuesday just gone, May 25th, has been named locally as Rayon Pennycook. Now the victim was a school pupil of Colby Business Academy and again this is a 16 year old boy that has lost his life due to a petty situation involving a stupid fight or fallout between his girlfriend and another girl and her partner or other friends. And because some local teenagers could not accept the fact that fallouts happen, the situation escalated into a stabbing and thus a murder. Now the worst thing about this is, by all accounts, Ryan Pennycook was not looking for a fight. All he was trying to do was protect his girlfriend and stop the fight from happening. Now bear in mind these are teenagers who are dealing with superficial teenage problems. Well, they're school children, at least some of them are. So they have not stepped one foot into the adult world yet and that's why none of the people that was involved in the killing had the common sense to walk away. So the instigator or murderer who were arseholes could not control their emotions and decided to attack 16 year old Ryan Pennycook. This was not a fair fight. This was an ambush, a setup, a cowardly attack on one person because he was not even prepared for what was about to happen to him. One witness told the son online that Ryan was attacked while visiting a friend's house. His girlfriend got into a fight with another girl and then Ryan attempted to defuse the situation and for all his efforts he was stabbed to death. Now dull information is still scarce. A 17 year old who cannot be named for legal reasons has been charged with the murder and two other boys aged 15 and 17 have been bailed pending further inquiries. Now children are running rampant. They literally have no guidance. They've got no guidance or no clear idea of the consequences of their actions. To stab someone is not a game. There's no reset buttons or do-overs. Once you plunge that knife into another person and leave them to die, you're connected to that person forever. In the best case scenario, you become another statistic in the prison system. The worst case scenario is you become a murderer. Or you become a target and retaliation will follow. In this case, the 17 year old who cannot be named for legal reasons will become a statistics and his family, especially his mum and dad, brothers or sisters, aunts, uncles, nephews will have to live with the shame knowing that their son, cousin, brother or friend took another person's life, denying them a future. I mean, after all, 16 year old Rayon didn't even have a chance to become an adult yet or even enter college. I mean, he was only in year 11. And because he's still in school, this death is going to have a domino effect. Rumours, lies, half-truths will flow through the corridors. People will post statements on Snapchat or Instagram and again cause unnecessary aggro. All I can say is condolences to his friends and family and this was another wasted life. Stay safe. Safe.